Gosh, it is rainy and f and foggy. It's, those horns are loud. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can get up to here. And then I think this would be a good place to defend. My cavalry is basically going to be hidden in the mist. You're not going to see them at all. What are they even looking at? Obviously nothing. Archers here. Infantry here. Are they just hanging out? In my pokers. Go poke the bear. Because my archers are just like totally wasting. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Let's see. Barons. <laughs> Ready to tell them to come back. And archers, get ready with fire orders to fire at will. Lose. Just lost one guy in that that poke. Two guys in that poke. I'm gonna lose three guys in that poke. I'm sure. Calvary, just finish him off, please. Who are you? Who are you? Oh man, there they are. Well, on their flanked by cavalry, I find spearmen much better in sieges, the Euro mercenary spearmen, than they are in, in say, an open field battle. Uh, nothing, I think, tops the. Get out of my way, horse. Nothing tops the just the the night in these open field battles, except when your horse gets caught on a tree. Oh. You got him. They're greedy too. So greedy. I will take all the prisoners I can get. Let's see. What do we got here? Anything good? Uh... You know, I was looking for something like that. I know it's chipped, but um, for sieges, for my swords are too long and too slow. One more guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, you're too fast for me. Who are you? Kingdom of Sweden. Well, I'm not worried, you guys. There's the French army. So I need to assemble an army. Yes. Who has that Earl of Warwick? Yeah. Some interesting things about the game. I don't even think that's technically what the Earl of Warwick would be. I'm pretty sure this is Norfolk, so it'd be the Earl of Norfolk, which I am the Earl of Norfolk, but there's another guy who technically... I'm the Earl of Norwich, but this is Norfolk, and this Bigot Pete guy, Robert Bigot, perhaps, who's in the game, and uh, he is an Earl. Of Norfolk, but his castle is, I believe, Beeson Castle. Yes, Lord Marshal Roger Begot, Earl of Norfolk.
he should be here. But you know, oh great, nice, nice. Let's see how many we've got. That's 200, 300 ish. It's 250. All right, we're getting on 400. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah. I think that is a, that is a good army. So, let's follow them where they were going. Ah, see, perfect. What am I getting from Sterling? Nothing yet. Wait, rinse from Sterling. Oof, losing money. Wait, it's for my party. Pretty high. What do we got here? We're coming to we're coming to the rescue, my friend. I'm afraid of a crash. <laughs> I'm saving a lot, guys. I'm saving a lot. Um Let's see. Yeah, let's just so yeah this is uh we didn't get a, we didn't get everybody that's unfortunate should have gotten more um wow let's find some some decent territory here to even battle on I don't know how much cavalry they have. Ugh, this looks frustrating. So, is that the hill? They're gonna get to it first. March is gonna be extremely ineffective, but well protected. And then my cavalry, I'm gonna put way over there. But this is not the best battleground. Not by a long shot. They're definitely on the other side of that hill. There they are. <laughs> Please forget that, guys. That is a text message. Okay, so they've definitely got the better angle on us. Hmm, here they come. Not a clean battle. It, it appears that he has maybe higher tactics than I do. Yeah, I'm losing a, losing a few men. Well, let me put it this way. People accompanying me are losing a few men. Oh, look at this. We better put our archers in a good position here. This seems like a good, good spot. Good hill charge here. Yep, we're getting up the hill. Oh, I miss that guy. Ah, my frame rates are dropping low here. Archers are finally getting in on it.
Excellent. More prisoners. <sighs> More captured enemies. Yes, yes. Take all of you. All of you come in my belly. Excellent. You know, that could be... Did you fill that up? Could be a good five grand. Um, my party's full. Upgrade some guys, though. Because I'm going to need them. They're top level. Because this battle with France is going to take a little bit of time. And then we've got Scotland to worry about. And I've got Sterling, which is, you know, a really fresh, uh, fresh fee for me. And, uh... I'm just worried that uh, Scotland's going to try to retake it. Okay, so who do we got here? We've got... Another small little battle here. Oh, this is much better. And have all my guys follow me up to the top of this hill. And... It will be just a formality, I'm sure. Because, uh... Oh, yeah. Although they're quick. Calvary, you're already down there. Looks like we're going to have to do the charge ourselves. Oh, he got me. Got him. Yeah, sometimes you just can't get up there, you know. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. Alright. Just cleaning up the mess the French left. Aha. Excellent job, my loyal subjects. More prisoners. Yep. Didn't lose anybody. Let's see. So what do we have left here? Is there any remaining French force? Quick save. Worst thing could happen is you crash after all that and you just gotta do it over. So Hmm. Looks like I don't see. We're gonna go talk to uh, Patchum here, village of Patchum, and see if the village elder has seen any troops coming by here. Um, seen any enemies? Hmm. Close to London. Okay, so you say there are some troops close to London. We're going to go check that out, my friend. If you're correct, I may come back and uh, give you a reward. Well, maybe we got rid of him. Maybe he's got old news. Well... Tell you one thing I'm not going to do as Marshall, go and, and try to take over some French territory. That's just a pain in the butt. So for now, it seems like we've kind of held back that initial French uh, attack. Sterling looks fine. Everything looks 
good. I hate to just disband the army. You know? Just... Yeah, give me that money, man. I hate to do it. But, uh... You know... What's my inventory look like? Full. Need to sell some stuff. Oh, by the way, that is that is the uh, Alexander the Third, the Scottish King's horse. When I killed him, I took his horse. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Well, you know, for now, we're just gonna disband the army. Um, yeah, let's everybody go home for now. I'll upgrade those guys later. They're still following me, though. Well, guys, you're going to follow me to York. So I'm going to sell some of these goods. Some more linen. Fuel tools at a greatly reduced price. A couple of more tools. Sixty-six, sixty-six. Yeah, pay me whatever. Arms. Anything else I can sell? There we go. That's close enough. Um. Any ransom broker? Nope. So. Well, I'm going to go check out Sterling. So everything looks fine in the south. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity to to make sure everything's good with Sterling. I'm good. So, yeah. 200 troops. It's I don't have to really do much. I kind of prefer it that way. I can't remember. I think my wife is back at Norwich, which is good for now. I'm going to keep her there because um, I think it's just way too dangerous. Yeah, let's build a prisoner tower. Yep. Um, where's the marketplace? Yeah, I think it's just way too dangerous for her to, to be up here um, where you know it could be attacked at any, any day, could be taken over. Just don't think it's wise to have uh, my wife there. Oh, well, that's something I'm definitely gonna do. I forgot that I can have another regional manor here, but um, what is it? Ten grand? Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Where would it be? Is it if, if it's even built yet? There's so much money in those regional manors that manor scone. Ah, there it is. And of Sterling. There's so much money um, in in building these properties that um, you just can't help but do it. And this is great, you know, because you're going to get to see one being built. Um, already built one before, but we're going to start building one now. So uh, let's go over taxes. Um, we have it at medium. Let's set it to low because I want them to grow, you know. Let's expect a treasure. We have nothing in it. Um, let's deposit. Let's say 20 grand's good for now. So first of all, I want to improve housing. And then um, let's, what do we have? We already have a blacksmith, a tannery. Good, weaponsmithy. So we need a well. Um, let's build something with a well. Monastery, grain farm. All right, wood makes money. Oh, let's build walls. Yep. We need walls. Um, fruit farm. Grain farm. It's weird. You can't build as many things up here unless I haven't unlocked them. Um, let's build a grain farm. And then... 
Let's see how much money. Holy, did I did I put all my money in there? Yeah, I did. That was stupid. Um, let me go back here. I did not mean to do that. I thought it was 10,000, but it's 100,000? It's crazy. I want to collect some gold. Oh, it is 100,000. I want to collect some gold. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Okay, so we're 52. Um, let's build monastery. Uh, let's build build a tavern. All right. much money 46 yeah um, all right that's a reasonable amount to have in there so so yeah we, we, we're gonna get to check this out because uh, nothing's really built right now um, you see how <laughs> compared to the other one you saw um, in part one, uh, this is pretty bare right now. Um, they, the walls aren't even up, so bandits could come in. Population's only about 20. And um, these buildings are sprouting up, but um, there's not a lot of people in front of them yet. So, for instance, like this guy is a blacksmith. Um, I want to receive it in goods, thank you. This guy makes tools, which I can sell for three to 400 a pop. Um, and that's where to go. I think most of these guys are defaulted at, um, at doing it through just gold taxes. So balanced, two-handed axe. Don't really need anything there. Thank you, my my friend. So yeah, as things are going to be being built, I need to come back here and just do a, a, a big run through, telling everybody to give me their goods and trade. Um, and then that's just, that is so much more money. I'm going to essentially double my profits by having two manors. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Just have to remember it's between Edinburgh and Sterling. So that's looking good. I feel pretty good about that. I'm just going to take a quick scout around the north um, and make sure nothing is out of the ordinary. Because definitely what I don't want to have happen is... Uh, the whole Scottish army comes and and sieges Sterling because that would be definitely the most likely target. So look at here, this guy's got twenty one. He's just he's just getting back on his feet. We just so devastated him. Most of them have been up here, which makes sense. I think they still have a peasant revolt. So yeah, I need to be careful. I can't just be willy nilly traveling through uh, through this territory. Yeah, man, making money. What you got in here? I see nobody. Okay, let's head back to Sterling. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, he's going to make it to Glasgow. But he's not much of a threat to Sterling anyway. So, and then it looks like everything is quiet down there. So, it looks like we have secured Sterling, um, built our manor, and uh, showed you uh, a good deal about uh, what's going on in the south. It looks like there is some looting going on um, here. Uh, don't know who that could be. It looks like our guys are doing a little bit of looting over there. Maybe we need to kind of really take it to France soon. Um, but guys, that's it. That's part two. Um, I want to thank you guys for joining me and, uh, I'm really going to think about this. And if, if I get a lot of views, then, uh, you know, maybe we'll do two series. We'll do one where we just kind of start from here, kind of go on. Um, hopefully I'll be king a lot sooner. Kind of see what happens on, on, on this one. 
and uh, maybe I'll start a new one. Um, we'll do something completely different. We'll be at a, a different part of the world, and uh, maybe we'll take a totally different approach. Uh, one approach I've really been interested in is is uh, specific uh, to the Crusades. So maybe we'll do something where we'll do a really holy knight who joins a, a holy order of knights and, and fights his way in the Crusades. Um, and maybe he can uh, start a kingdom over there or, or help someone start a kingdom in the Holy Land. So um, we'll think about that. If you guys have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, uh, please uh, chime in on my comments. Uh, but again, this is Arcade Night, guys. Thanks for watching.